Hello again, peeps. Not Sunday day today, but um, sometimes you have a model like this and you want to fatten it up a little bit. In this case, I'm struggling with weird printing because this uh, area here is basically too narrow. It's uh, like less than 0.5 millimeters. So I want to fatten it up by this much, 0.5 millimeters. And uh, my initial thought was um, I can just revolve it as a sketch. So I created a surface and then I try to take that surface and revolve it to 360 degrees over the axis of this. Now, apparently this should have worked. So you get a, a separate body now that looks like this. But the problem is you cannot stitch it. So if I go to here and I try to stitch it, I it wants to be stitched with something. I cannot stitch it with that one, of course. I cannot select the main component and stitch it with that one. And I also tried to, you know, create surfaces like here. I tried to just uh, patch that up. And then I tried to patch this up. Okay. And then I tried to stitch those. Stitch, you see it all goes red. <coughs> so, the solution to this is basically you have to do this in, uh, in, 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 so in, in solid mode. So I have this body and I have this sketch prepared. So you select the sketch that you want to revolve and instead of using surface here, you go to solid here. And then you use the revolve function in solid. Same thing, you select this piece that you want to extrude. And then you select to extrude it like this. And here now, because you're doing this in solid mode, you can select how you want to do it. In this case, I want to join it because I want it to expand. Press OK. And then you have increased the size of your shape without having to adjust the original sketch, which you probably didn't want to do because that could mess up other things. Like for instance, for me, I wouldn't be able to have a correct rubber neck on this one. So that's just a quick video on how you can increase the size of an object using a sketch without having to go through trying uh, to make it into a, a surface first. So just keep it in solid and use sketch, revolve it or whatever you want to do, expand it and it should be easier to make a join with the current object that you have. Thanks for watching, hope this helps and remember to like and subscribe.